Good morning. Being transparent, one of the main reasons why I do what I do is for myself. This helps me to stay a bit motivated. One of the things that held me back was who wants to hear what I have to say? And I've realized that th 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 some people do, some people don't. But ultimately, it's up to me. It's, it's, it, it, it's to help me to stay moving forward, to internalize what I've learned. It, anything you're trying to do, it, it's, it, it's up here. It, whether it's dealing, you know, relationships, work, partner, friends, family, you get frustrated. D you know, trying to lose weight or make money and attract things is, is one thing, but when you're when you're dealing with relationships, you're dealing with another person. So they have their own thoughts and you have your thoughts and it, you know, it, you're not always on the same frequency. So you have to figure out how to keep yourself in a good feeling place not taking things personally, but you have to do the internal work. You know, if if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? You hear that phrase all the time. There's people out there that generally they just, they, they, they really want to help. But in order to help people, they have to have people that need help. So if, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, yeah, there's, there's all kinds of programs. There's, uh, you know, coaches, trainers. Ultimately, you have to you have to do it yourself ultimately you have to be your own motivator you know I, I've listened to so many different things uh, to taking so many programs and it, it lasts for a little while here's one of the things that I always hear uh, motivation sucks you need discipline you know and, and it's kind of a play on words it, it's and, and I'm getting to the point where I mean, you have to hypnotize yourself. You have to brainwash yourself. You have to want the end result more than you're okay with where you're at. You have to do things because you want to, because you can. If you want to lose weight, you're sitting there going back and forth. You say, oh, I'm not that bad. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, it's okay. You lose a little bit of weight. You, and then you, you, you treat yourself. And, and it's kind of, it, 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 you know, it's this game you're playing with yourself. And, and you have to get to a point where I want this more than that. So enjoy the process. Enjoy it along the way because you want to. I know what it feels like when I'm at a better weight. I can fit in my clothes better. Don't play these games that, oh, I don't have to be skinny. I don't have to lose weight. You don't have to. If you're happy and satisfied with where you're at, then by golly, do that. But if you're sitting there beating yourself up because you want more, you want something else, then you owe it to yourself. Now, we look outside of ourselves for you know accountability partners, somebody to push us, whatever tools we need to get us going. But ultimately, you have to sit down and that's where affirmations come in. That's where uh, meditation comes in. It's, you know, you don't just write down and you just don't read someone else's affirmation that they gave you. You have to, what do you want? What do you need to get to where you're going? That's what you write down. I love my body. I love where I'm at, but this is what I want. You can love what you have and love where you're at, but still want more. And then once you internalize it, it, it it's, it's practice, it's repetition. And then it becomes part of your subconscious. And then you will start automatically getting up early in the morning, going for a walk. It'll be very easy when something's offered to you and you know that it's not good for you to say, no, I, I, don't, I don't want it. Because the person that I'm becoming, that I want to be, doesn't eat that stuff. And that's what I want more than I'm, what... I'm going to eat or more than a little bit of discomfort of going to walk and you have to do it gradual don't overdo it don't go you know try to get up and go run five miles to start losing weight and then you're all sore and then you hate it make yourself enjoy it listen to a podcast while you're walking find a way to enjoy the process to get to where you want to go 
You have to do it because you want to. It's no fun to get up every day and force yourself to do stuff. That's not a happy life. You have to take pleasure in, this is where I want to go. This is what I want. This is how I vision myself. These are the clothes I want. And, you know, treat yourself along the way. But you can do it. It's up here. Figure it out. Love you.